Well, it's spring training starting, and it's also spring training here for us at Yankee Dabbler. It's a beautiful day. Let's play two. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here to Yankee Dabbler Stadium, where we have another exciting matchup between those HO Yankees and those pesky N-Scale Dabblers. We got a terrific matchup planned up for you today, and we got leaning off from Will and Scenics are these Just Plug accessories. Well, wow, these are real smart plug items right here. As you can see, we got the HO items over here. We got some neat street lights here. We got the double lamp post here, and then we got the arc cast iron ones as well as these mounted wall lights we got these gooseneck ones and these will look terrific if you're trying to add a little bit of extra layers to your ho scale buildings this is definitely going to make them stand out we also got some nano lights of various different colors such as red blue and yellow and then of course we got the power supply which obviously powers all this stuff with the light and hub set and of course the expansion hub set so everything you would need if you want to put multiple lights on your layout that's what we have here for you to make that happen then of course we have the end scale over here we got these wood side poles and these are terrific looking items we have these lamp post right here those are great looking ones too we got some more led lights to go warm white we also have uh cool light we have the green and orange as well as another wall mounted ones these are called the entry lights all right and of course what i have here oh man down of course what i have here in in scale i also have an hl and vice versa so if you're looking to get a specific style light for your layout we have it here at yankee dabbler I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of prices because we have all this stuff on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in what specific one you're looking for, and you will see the price for your item. So, I mean, this is a tough matchup right here. I'm going to say right now that the HO ones got 10 runs in that inning, and I'm going to say the N scale ones, they got 10 thumbs up. It's a close game so far after the first. I'm going to give the HO guys uh, 10 runs. I'm going to give the end scalers 10 thumbs up. So there you go. All right. So we're at the end of the first, and that's going to be brought to you by Micromark Uncoupling Light. Check out this guy here. If you're having a hard time uncoupling your trains and you need some help, get the uncoupling light. This thing is fantastic here. What happens here, it actually has an illuminated uh, plastic stick there that allows you to uncouple your HO cars with ease i'm telling you this thing is going to be as easy as striking out in the major league so come on in and get that uncoupler light today play ball all right so we're going to be here for the top of the second and we got an exciting person leaning off here or thing rather we have these ps kogans from fox valley and these are actually part of a six pack we only took a couple out because they're all the same Bubble. but they have different numbers here i got the fiat there and then i also got the uh cajuns and these are really cool cars especially if you want to create a unit train they all had different numbers they are really neat pieces to have to your rolling stock they also have various different types of detailing parts that you add on later you to give it a little bit more substance and these are just really neat cars to have on your layout again if you're looking to add a lot of substance you want to get cars with different numbers you want to create a nice colgan unit train this is the way to go Strike. i'm telling you you are going to be hitting a home run with these guys here they are selling a yankee dabbler for 89.99 game you get six of them we got a bunch of different um, various numbers and uh designs for you here a yankee dabbler Play ball! All right, those Fox Valleys are going to be tough to beat, but let's see if Team HO has it where it counts. Let's check out these guys here. We have here from Atlas the Norfolk Southern Top Gods, and these are really cool-looking cars here. And what's really neat about these cars is they actually come with die-cast metal couplers, which is a big plus in my book. Then, of course, we have the traditional hopper cars here, and these are Canadian Pacific, but they also have many other road names, such as the Sioux Line, Milwaukee Road, Santa Fe. I got a bunch of different cars here to add to your collection. These are part of the three-car packs here, so again, just like the end scale, we have multiple different numbers, but... As I said, we also have individual cars here, so these three packs could turn into four, five, six, however many you want to put on your layout. Now, as you notice, I don't have any loads on here, 
but Walther's has it covered. Like the coal flood loader, you can put this on your layout and you can fill up those cars so the miniature factories on your layout will be nice and happy that all your trains are running efficiently. So come check that out from Walther's. These particular items here are selling, the Top Guns are selling for $81.99 and the Canadian Pacifics are selling for $72.99. So definitely Steer, right. if you pick up these cars, you are not going to be swinging and missing because you're going to be really happy to have these going around your layout. This game is neck and neck, I'll tell you. I say that the end scalers picked up a big 10 smiley faces there, while the HOers definitely gave you 10 stars. So it is really anybody's game right now. Now, as we approach the second inning stretch, uh, no one can really sit through nine innings anymore. We have another one of our commercials here for Dak O'Brien's Wettering Powder. <laughs> Come on in and get some of this mystery dust to make your trains nice and wetter. We got every color you want, like rusty red, uh, muddy red. Look at that. We've got some faded blue. And we got some desert sand and many, many more. So come on in to Yankee Dabbler and weather up your trains with some Doc O'Briens and you'll be the envy of everyone east of the Mississippi. Only $17.59. Say what? It's just $17.59. Say what? $17.59. <laughs> All right, we're at the top of the third, the end of our game here, and so far, both teams are neck and neck, but let's see if this last inning will put one of them over the edge. And the first one, we're going to take a look at the end scalers, is we got these SD50s from Atlas, and these are cool-looking locomotives here. We got the Lehigh Gorge, which is the uh, railroad that operates out of Jim Thorpe, and that is a great-looking design. I love the detailing there, especially if you can see the lake and the mountain design there and the logo as well as the trees by the mountains. I even like another thing here is it actually has the website there so you can actually take a look at what the website is for the Lehigh Gorge Railroad. So that is really cool. Next one is we have another Reading and Northern diesel locomotive here is the SD50. And this is actually the old paid scheme. They have repainted uh, these or are in the process of repainting these. So if you want the old design before it goes away, come and get this guy. And again, as you notice, they even have the web address for the railroad there. Then you do some cool stuff there with the Reading and Northern and Atlas did a great job decorating this diesel locomotive. All right, we have here the Conroe Quality. And I, again, love that blue design. I don't know anyone that doesn't. I like trains that have a lot of color in there, and that Conrail Blue just looks fantastic. And then I got here another classic design, the Chessie System. And I got that Chessie Cat logo right there. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, folks. These diesel locomotives retail at Yankee Dabbler for $174.99. They have ESU sound, LED lighting, all the features that you expect from a fantastic Atlas and scale locomotive. I'll tell you what. We are pitching lights out with these diesels, I'll tell you what. And of course, as we like to do here on our show, we like to hear what these guys sound like, so let's check them out. All right, so let's start them up. Look at that. All right, let's see what that horn sounds like. Nice. And the bell. Great looking diesel locomotives. All right, let's take them out for a little spin. Let's get a little forward action happening. reverse these things. All right, 
right, here we are at the bottom of the third inning. Team Dabbler put up a fight, but let's see if Team Yankee can even the score. We had these awesome looking diesel locomotives here from Ather, and these are actually, well, this particular one here is a GP7, and this is a really cool one. This is a Rock Island, but it's actually a Prime for Grime, X Denver, and Rio Grande, and this is a cool looking locomotive, as you can see here. If you can zoom back in here, you can see that the actual Denver and Rio, uh, Denver and Rio Grande writing has been replaced. You can see that uh, patchwork is still there. You can see, obviously, the tiger striping that usually on the Rio Grande locomotives here, but now it's been repurposed for uh, Rock Island. That is a really cool looking uh, diesel locomotive there. Then I got these GP7Us, and these are really cool looking locomotives too. And I got some interesting road names here. For example, this one's called the Integrated Grain and Milling Company. And this is a cool looking locomotive. As you can see here, I have specific detailing for the type of area that you would have seen this diesel locomotive uh, run on. I have the Santa Fe yellow and blue paint scheme, one of my favorites. And again, you can see all the different types of detailing. You can see it's not like the one that you just saw previously. It has some different featuring here. I love the little American flag uh, right here on the bottom here. And of course, you can see that the actual, all of these have these speed recorders. There's a lot of really neat detailing that Athern is putting in their diesel locomotives. And then, of course, we have here the Banker and a Rootstock. And this is a really cool one because, again, another subtle feature. We have a, a strobing beacon light on the top of this engine here, all right? That's not on the other ones. So it is a cool, neat, subtle variation that you're seeing on this particular model that the other ones don't have. All right? And so you can even look. I just noticed this, but some of these have high headlights. Some of them have them in the nose. That has on the high... I mean... This is really neat to see all the different type of variations that you could do with essentially the same type of diesel locomotive. These engines are selling at Yankee Dabbler for $255. You get all the great features that you expect from an Athern diesel locomotive. And again, let's see what these guys sound like because that's probably my favorite part of these videos. I wanted to isolate this one here because I think the sounds sound really cool. All aboard. I think this one is way out of here in terms of how awesome that engine sounded. So come into Yankee Dabber and come get these GP7s and GP7Us before they're long gone. All right, well, that was a strong showing by both teams there. Uh, Team Dabbler definitely uh, hit a home run with their SD50. So I'm going to get the 10 stickers. However, Team Yankee really did a fantastic job with these GP7. So I'm going to give them 10 wiki faces, all right? So on the screen, you're going to see the score. I'll let you guys figure out how to calculate that. And you write in the comments section who you think won. Be interested to see who the victor is. All right, well, thank you very much for tuning in to what's new here at Yankee Dabbler. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall, well, what are you doing? Click that button, see all the new videos that are coming in and all the latest contact, product reviews, everything that we have coming out at Engineer Hall. You want to get the, be the first one to see it, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank you for coming in here at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. And we'll see you next time. Now, if you excuse me, i got to get back into my railroad mode. I'll see you guys later. Whew.
Go away, I'm playing. I can't wait to see when Dollar Track Day is. Say what? Uh, TBD. 